Donald. I am the director of the Implementation Support Unit. Uh, the unit is, in short, the Secretariat of the Anti-Personnel Landmine Convention, and we support states with the implementation of their obligations under the convention. Yes, we're in Guinea-Bissau. We are the implementing agency for an EU project that supports the implementation of the convention and the convention's Oslo Action Plan, which was adopted by the states at the fourth review conference in Oslo, Norway. This um, action plan includes activities related to victim assistance um, of the convention. Uh, Guinea-Bissau is one of the 30 states parties that has reported a significant number of mine survivors and having a responsibility to respond to their needs and ensure their rights. Uh, well, a global picture is um, at the moment the convention has 33 states parties that have uh, reported contamination by anti-personnel mines. There are more states that have contamination by anti-personnel mines, but 33 of them are states parties to the convention. One is Guinea-Bissau. Uh, Guinea-Bissau had declared completion of its Article 5 obligations in 2012, uh, but recently had, had uh, discovered previously unknown contamination and has now returned to the states parties to report that they have discovered new contamination and to continue the work of implementation of the convention. Well, at the moment, they've discovered a number of suspected hazardous areas and confirmed hazardous areas, and they are, at the moment, undertaking new surveys and new assessment of these areas to find out the exact um, contamination. And Guinea-Bissau, at the moment, has indicated that they require cooperation and assistance to be able to undertake these tasks. So they uh, have reached out to a number of organizations uh, to support their efforts to carry out these assessments and then to come back to the state's parties to present the results of these assessments and a plan on how long it would take them to clear these areas and how much it would cost to clear these areas. Uh, this activity uh, this week is related to uh, victim assistance. As I mentioned, Guinea-Bissau is one of the 30 states that has reported a responsibility for a significant number of mine survivors, and it thus has an obligation under the convention to support uh, mine survivors and to guarantee their rights. Uh, this, today, this event for the next two days is extremely important. It's a national dialogue um, on victim assistance, which has to do a lot with other frameworks, other national efforts, uh, such as those involved in national disability strategies. Uh, so it's a very important event to draw attention to the need of mine survivors and to draw attention to the need to integrate this effort into, into national, other national frameworks. Um, this has given us an opportunity to bring all the actors, national actors together to speak about victim assistance, to speak about disability rights, and to be able to continue the dialogue uh, that's so necessary in victim assistance.